Greetings and welcome back to Sengoku Dynasty and I am so excited for this day. I've been looking forward to this for quite a while. I'm sure you have as well. Here we are. Experience Kintsugi, our biggest update yet. I've watched the YouTube video and I'll have a link to it here that you'll see, but it's time. I love the fact that they changed the intro screen. The background is gorgeous. I do love the realism here, the feeling of like these pots that have been repaired with gold and the gorgeous view of the mountain. Ah, almost looks like Mount Fuji in the spring. Nice. It is very cool. I'm ready to start a new game. We're not going to be able to continue the old game here and that's all right because now let's make it happen. And it looks like, oh cool. So they made it so that you can have your own creative mode. You can have your chill out mode where you just want to play and have fun and minimize the amount of challenges and things. Normal, balance it out. That'll probably be where I'm at. Hardcore, we'll do that in the future. And then you can customize it well. What's the other option? Okay. Let's see here. Infinite HP? No. Infinite stamina? Nah. Nice. Now this is minimum days, maximum days of seasons. I love that. Okay, fast building. Ooh. Hmm. This is nice. Huh. That's cool. It's in building grants a player immortality. Wait, what? Single resource per circuit grants. Ah, they got the wrong text on this one, but that's okay. Unlock all recipes. Nice. Cannot be undone later. Hmm. Resource delivery will not wait for the hammer below animation to finish, allowing you to finish faster. Hmm. I might do this one because I don't want to spend a lot of time on that. So I may try this one out. Instant building. Now that, I'm guessing... I don't want to do that one because that doesn't sound fair. That sounds like we just, like, boom, instantly have the thing done. So let's not do that one. That doesn't seem quite in line with what we want to do. Now here... We'll start loading, and the load times are supposed to be faster, less RAM is demanded. They were very specific in the idea that they used a, they revamped a lot, and they've gotten it down so that they have streamlined this in a great way. I'm looking forward to that too, because I know load times for me were sometimes well, a little while. I don't have a terribly old system, but I also don't have a very new system. And while we're waiting, here's some things that are in the, in the log. So you can build entry level buildings at a lower cost. Saw some things look like wattle. The villagers can actually sleep at the workplace. That's going to save us. That's going to make some efficient work times here. And also makes sense because historically that did happen. And you could build wherever you want. We don't have to go to Sosogi. We can go back there and we will. I'm sure I'll go back to Sosogi. And let's see here. We did just explore the gameplay options. And the progression system, we're definitely going to look into that one too, right? Like we're going to see how that goes as we go through the, this playthrough and explore it and experience it live out throughout this, right? So that's going to be the goal. And let's see here. What else do we have? So our second one that you'll see up there now, daily production occurs. So at 1800, they produce a stock of resources. Now this is where I'm going to link back to what I said before, which is that you got to make sure you have your storage just present. We will see if they made it so that if you just have a storage available, if the things go into it, or if you actually need the building proper to do so. They said also that the simplification of workplaces and they've been added to corresponding furniture and not part of a building. Okay, so that's a thing. So now we don't have to worry about that. Increased size for storage. I am so on that one. And then production's maximized no matter what, even if you, or as long as you make changes. And then some changes to farming and etc. Now, if you have already played this before and you've seen my first playthrough, we've already been together for this particular intro. So we'll skip through that. And we'll begin anew on the shores of Sasogi, and we'll gather up some things just like last time there are some items out here that we're going to pick up before we leave a few sticks and you'll notice that here we are immediately gaining recipes so here oh yeah this was an issue that was noted before is that um it's hard to there we go it's hard to access that one you gotta look real careful firewood will work Oh, a couple. Ah, interesting. Okay, so we'll see scrolls, and those scrolls are our recipes. So there's a few things that we can take advantage of there. Scrolls and whatnot. There's an ore. Or is it? Ha <laughs> ha. Sorry, I'll stop. Anyway, puns are fun. All right, we'll move on to this boat here. Looks like there's still more things that we can maybe look through, and... I'm sure we'll find out more items later as we go, right? And that's the point. Let's go find out stuff. Let's go explore. Let's find out what this is going to be. And in the future, you'll be able to look forward to me making some videos on uh, best practices, some some things where I'll give some advice on the early game. 
Dynasty leveling, of course, as I talked to you before about getting dynasty points, doing those special projects and focusing on the small bridges. I'll be doing some in-depth analysis on what works the best as we go through this. But for now, this is our reintroduction to Sosogi. Well, not Sosogi specifically anymore. That's the funny thing. I say Sosogi because I'm so used to that being our start point in all of what we do. But really, it's our reintroduction to Sengoku and our village, however we want it. Last we left off with my series, we had built the lighthouse, and I had begun Seaside, and I was doing a lot of thinking about where I wanted to organize things. Look at that, they've already, they increased the speed at which the person picks up things, which I very much appreciate, because in the last one, oh my goodness, did it take a while. You would pick up these stones, and you kind of had to balance out your flow, and I would kind of like walk at a certain pace so I could get things done. Now it's much faster. I thank you, devs. Thank you, thank you, thank you for that. Because holy cow, it was getting really tiring just sitting there um, holding down the button and trying to gather things and it going so slow. And this is a nice creature comfort. Alrighty, we get to talk to Akko. We get to figure out what's going on with her and then decide where we go from there. We are going to need grasses. I did notice when I was playing before in the uh, beta that uh, grasses matter quite a bit. Mm-hmm. I see you there, buddy. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> that was, uh... <laughs> All right, well, there's going to be a couple funny things here and there. So that that bunny <laughs> that bunny sounded like a deer. Uh, it, you know, it's going to be what it is. There will be some things that are going on, I'm sure. There we go. Let's go ahead and collect some meat. No fur quite yet, but it's what it is. Well, that's fun. Or maybe it is, maybe there's just a deer hidden in there, too? Did I strike a deer and I just don't realize it? Maybe I should do go back there and try something out. Where is our bunny? Aha! Aha! Hmm. Perhaps, but perhaps not. Uh, let's see here. Pressing Q. I can't open. I can't. I can't. Make, I can't make a hammer. Akko, are you gonna let me build a hammer? You are alive, Akko. Ah, uh, here we are. Let's get a fire. Be back in a moment. And in. Indeed, I can not build a hammer because I don't have a I don't have logs yet. That's the goal. That's the thing. Okay, let's do this. We'll chop this down. I also will want to point out that, um, and I think I had said this in the series, but you know, back to here, you'll notice that the icons have changed for food, energy, and health, which I appreciate. I like that the icons are a little more interesting. And I also enjoy the fact that they're a little more uh, user-friendly for eyes, for people with... Um, when you look at those icons, those are a lot easier to differentiate. And I'm hoping that that helps out with people with any um, different abilities to see color. That is to say, if anybody's colorblind, I hope those help out. Because in a lot of ways, that can be a real game changer when you're playing something where you're looking and you're like, I can't... Which bar? The icons could be bigger so I could tell. This helps out. So now they're clearly different. You can tell that they're in a different zone. It's nice, right? It's that's a that's a creature comfort that I think people appreciate. All right, with this, I'm just gathering up food, and I know that the, really the only goal we have here is to finish building her little uh, her hut, and then we're moving on. But for now, we are getting a few things because I know I know that we are going to want to run through here, and we are going to want to make our village as fast as possible. I appreciate the fact that it seems like things are a lot smoother. Like, these animations are smoother. I am definitely noticing less of a chunky, chunky, leggy, leggy issue. So that's nice. All right, let's go back to Akko, and we'll take out our hammer, which we have yet to equip. Oh, <laughs> which we have yet to make. That's another thing. All right, let's put the hammer here. And then we right-click on the mouse, in order to get to build, I love that they now have icons that tell us, hey, look, you have new things here. Let us build her this. And boom. Hmm, okay. Well, I thought the fast build would have related to this one and made it go quicker. Okay, and now we have a new item or a new thing telling us that we can do cooking. We're also going to build her a tent to survive until we have a village. Hmm, shoot. I was really hoping that that was the fast build, that it would actually, you know... Build fast. We'll see about that. Maybe I misclicked or something. There we go. And I like that now you can see the icon above her, and it's clearly showing, hey, you have a quest, a quest here. Um, I have some Gobaroots to snack on. Take them, and we won't spend our lives running around. There's fertile land, tall trees. 
the soldiers. This could be the peasant kingdom. Let's look around. Now, before we get out of here, though, we need to go to the nearest village, which is easily done. Now we got a bucket. Hmm, no other things here. Another boat has crashed on this island, it seems. And why am I collecting all these stone? Because I will need them eventually. I swear. And it's nice when you're here, you just take them. All right, well, we've been able to take out a hare and a rabbit already, so that's that's handy. Now, let's check and see. Did we get any actual skills? Character. Okay, inventory is there. And we have no perks here. I did get away of the warrior, so that's fine. So this is good. We do want to get this perk right away. I am looking forward to them reworking this part of the system, though. I do want to see more skills in the future, because I just feel like it's empty right now. Oops, a lot, of, a lot of jumping and chugging here. We'll see how that goes. Ooh. So first time loading things is a challenge, it looks like. Just a little bit of um, just a little bit of struggle la uh, with lag, loading things in the distance. So we'll see how that goes. Let's see here. We can tear this down. All right, now this is giving us just a stick, and it's gone in one hit, which I appreciate, because last time some of these things took quite a while. We aren't going to leave Sasogi burned, but we also aren't going to rebuild Sasogi this time around, since what you're going to find here is that when I go to one of these structures... Oh, it does say with any axe. Okay, that's nice. Okay, good. I was a little concerned. I like that they go piece by piece. That's good. Nice. All right, last time when I was playing on the... Uh, when I was playing in the beta, you could not just tear this thing down. You, unfortunately, had to... Boom! Oops, that's right. I keep forgetting the keystrokes here. I just want to make sure I have the set. The uh, the last time I was here, what I noticed was you had to have a better axe to get through it. Hey there, we were we crashed here. You saw me care for my friend. It was really touching. I may have misjudged you. Welcome. Every settlement needs permission. What about rebuilding? Do we need permission for that? Sasogi. But, you know, your place in the wild. Okay, bell tower at the heart of the village. Lucky for you, found the bell. And here you go, make a ring out. You can rebuild anything here or anywhere else. And he said, come back. Come back if we want to help out here. Now, I was figuring that we had no choice but to... I thought we had no choice but to build elsewhere. So that led me to deciding to just kind of travel right off the bat. Now, but if we are able to rebuild in Sasogi, honestly, this is the spot where you can get the most done. Because right here, I can tear down old buildings, gain access to resources, and immediately start building up things. And I honestly think that that's probably the move, and that I'd want to be able to do that. I kind of like having a bell tower here in Sasogi anyway, since it's a nice fast travel location. Is it convenient? Hmm. As far as fast travels are concerned, it's not 100% necessary, right? I mean, we don't have to have our village here in Sasogi. It is convenient in the sense that it's, I don't know, right here where we started. <laughs> but that's about it, isn't it? It does tempt me to say, what if we just went somewhere further down and ignored this place? We could always build our intro region here, move on from here. And it does seem to help. I do like the idea that if we build here, it's quick and easy. Let's see what we can get away with. Do we have access to building? Well, first thing we have to do is we have to build a bell tower. I say, what we're going to do here is I want to just build in Sasogi because I want to be able to get right to exploring what can be done. I want to be in on this update immediately, and I want to be going on. I want to be going through what they have, right? So that's my goal. I'm going to just say we're building here in Sasogi because it's time to start touring the options we have so we don't have to spend a ton of time wandering. I will definitely be doing a video about, hey, where are some great places to build that you'll see in the future. For now, boom, now we have Sasogi, All right? And that gave us plus 400 XP. Okay, let's do a quick view of this. Looks to me we are at 50 out of 1,250. So finish quest lines, get special projects done, and reach a record of population. Okay. Not bad. Now, population of one should be pretty darn easy, since here we are right in this town, and I have Akko, who is going to be our population one. What we're going to do, though, is let's experiment and find out some things. 
I want to say, let's get that first woodworking station going. And let's see what we can do with that. There we are. Sticks and charcoal from those. Oops, again, getting used to this idea that i got to press the different keystrokes. When the hammer is out, you press right click. All right, production buildings. Everything is locked. Hmm, workshop. Okay, so workshop is one of our first things. Woodcutter's hut is dynasty level four. Hmm, interesting. Okay. Level three for those. Hmm. Small house. Now, since I'm not able to actually do much building yet, honestly, a little bit thinking, hmm, maybe Sasogi's not the place I want to be. Oh, well, we're here. We're making the best of it. Let's put a house somewhere by... Yeah. And we'll clear out some trees as we go. Well, I was really hoping for fast crafting. That's what it is. Alrighty. Next step is logs. So the floors are now logs. Okay, that's interesting. I like that. In some ways, I do like that. Let's get these things out of here. We can make a path like we had before going down to the water area. Logs are going to be our foundational resource for a lot of things. And if we're just using Sasogi as kind of like a start point to build up, then good. Let's just use it as a start point. And in a couple years, we can actually come back here and we can update. And we can see how the trees look when they regrow. And for now, we'll just kind of take wherever we want. We need a floor on the house. That'll be a quest line. So by building a house at the start here, we do get a quest completed, which will be handy. And our dynasty, ooh, and the bush is in the way, so let's go for that. Take some sticks off of the bush. And we have lots and lots of sticks. Oh my, do we have sticks? All right, first house will be done in no time flat. Now, this says wall, makeshift wall. Okay, I'll take it, because sticks I have a lot of. Okay, hold on here. Let's see if we can change these settings. And let's do gameplay. Let's see. Season duration, fast building, resource delivery. Hmm. Let's see this one. There we go. Now, does it actually take away? I have 172 sticks. Did it take away six? Oh, that's. See, that's. Mm. Yeah, that's not. Um, ma. So it does literally cost you one resource, which is awesome. Like that. For people who just want to get into the building, I love it. Very good. That's that's the way to go. Fast building must be fast building as in you crafting. That'd be my guess. So hmm. well, I think I'll turn those off though. And I realize that that's going to make this be a little bit of a process. But otherwise it just feels too fast. And I don't want to be speeding through this and having zero effort building things. This is good. We have the craftsmen. As I recall, these aren't the most important things to have. Which again... In the future, updated. I want to do the chopping down trees quicker, obviously, because yes, we like chopping down trees faster. I do appreciate the whole update here, where the house is going to be very simple. And it's going to be obviously inefficient for heating, which will be an issue we'll take care of later. But it's just to get a house down, right? Let's just get these simple houses down and make it so. And the fact that it's only going to cost us logs and sticks will make our lives very easy at the beginning. I do have planks, but for now, I want one building that I can take advantage of and be done with. Nice grasses as a resource, and only one log. That's very handy for a simple structure. And that's going to allow us to get workers online rapidly. Now, I am going to be in a weird spot, though, with the not having a high dynasty level. All right, way of the leader, and that. Stones and sticks. Oh, good. And now here we have our simple bed, which I appreciate. That's nice. It's nice not to have just a grass mat that we're sitting on anymore. Cool. Sunken Hearth is here. We'll get Akko here. She's ready to go. She's ready to join us. There we go. Furniture. All right. We now unlocked the wood of the workshop. And that was a 500 XP. Interesting. So that means we have a few more things to do. But we are still Dynasty Level 2, which I find comical. Okay, so we unlocked the workshop, even though it requires Dynasty Level 3. So there are definitely some scripted things that occur. 
such as, like this one said Dynasty Level 3, but we just unlocked it. Hmm. I'm going to say let's get this thing online as fast as possible. A workshop can be sitting anywhere. We're going to set it right here. We'll put it in a nice area here. Reach Dynasty Level 7. Okay, we can definitely do that. All right, now with this one, let's put the workshop up and see what this thing's about. I'm very curious about that one. I want to see what all can be done within it. And if there's a lot that can be done in here, cool. Then we go from here. That's the hammer. All right. Nice, more logs. All right, and we'll clear this place out. We want to rebuild Sosogi. That's a thing, right? I do still love that storyline start. I like that idea of rebuilding Sosogi and taking it from the ashes and recovering and using that as our point of revenge in this area to say... We will get back at the local, we will get back at the lords who have taken from the peasantry and led to their suffering. Ah, see, this is why all those stones are paying off right now. Oops, I thought I had all that set. There we go. Let's get all these logs. Now, I wonder, I wonder, wonder, and I think we'll definitely do a quick search here. Ooh, there's a large place right out there. Look at that. Is that new or have I just never noticed that before? There's quite the island out there. Oops, we're not going to try to chop down a stump. That's not happening. That's just not happening. All right, let's look out there. Okay. Hold on. Ah, uh -huh, yeah, I knew it. That. That is definitely new. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, we're going out there. That's happening. All right. We got to check out all the new stuff. That's that's just a guarantee. Let's get our village all set so we can head out and do some adventuring. Probably want to get ourselves a bow and arrow set here. I don't want to be sitting here unprotected. I have already gone through here before and dealt with wolves when I was in the beta. And I tell you what, they will bite the hell out of you. Or bite the heck out of you. <laughs> it's, a, it's an entertaining process. All right. Now... As I'm getting these trees down, the goal here is finish up the workshop and have a few extra things to go. And I hope that you're enjoying the start of your playthrough as well. Nice. Leaks. Good. Now we can actually utilize them. I'm happy for that because that was kind of just a sitting here waiting thing. Back here in our little village to be, I appreciate that the planks are now logs. Kind of, I guess. I'm guessing that that might be a mistake though. We'll have to see. Because it's not that hard to get to planks from here. So I would guess that that's meant to actually be planks. Can we modify? Yeah, we could. But honestly, I'm not aiming for anything more than the simplest thing possible. And after this, it's going to be all about let's check out this place. We'll have to craft some things to protect us. If I can't build a bow and arrow, I'll build spears and we'll just deal with things that way. Since spears are quite effective. You're, as long as you're fast with it, you're good to go. All right, I'm excited to see what these changes are all about. See what we can do. We'll see how far we get today. We'll do a day at a time like I usually do. Hopefully that's an enjoyable pace for people. Just trying to get one thing at a time. And for me, it works with my life schedule since I do have my two kiddos and we do have school to go to and I do have work to go to. That's tricky. But I always enjoy the time that I get with y'all to uh, explore this game and look into what it's about. Looks like we're going to need some more grasses. Uh-huh. Going to need some grass. Look at all those sticks. You see, I had 172 plus sticks. And we are way down in those right now. This has definitely been good. It is definitely taking our resources from us, making us look into gathering more. I appreciate that. And that's part of why I don't want to do the instant craft of like, hey, take one resource and build every single thing. I don't want to do that because it's going to feel really disjointed. It's going to be... That feels like creative mode to me, and that's fine. It's great for its setting, but I'm not here for the creative mode thing. I'm here for the survival. I'm here for the gathering the resources. I'm here for the work that goes into it. And that's fun. That part of the game I enjoy. Enjoy the grind. All right, with that, I apologize for that fast pan there. That should take care of our roof. Next step will be taking care of the workstations, and that I'm curious about. I do remember this workstation from before. This was in the little bit of glitchiness because I had loaded a game into this and that, you know, that was silly. Though, first and foremost, it was silly to, for me to even think that it was possible 
I just simply use my old save. Alrighty, and now let's see here. Dynasty General Storage Access, okay. And then is this going to work though? That's the question. Is this going to allow us to actually access our storage? And will people store into it? Okay. Let's go get Akko and find out more. So once we find out from Akko what's going on, if she is able to immediately start doing work, then the storage issue is fixed. And then from here, it's just all out. Let's just go. Whee! You, uh... Do I take these things? Nope. That's just decoration. I probably shouldn't smash this poor man's boxes. The running is about the same as before. Well, not so much. I mean, a little less straight-backed. That's good. Looked a little funny before. Akko, how you doing? Much better. Busy building with the locals. You know it. All right. Uh, and then, am I not just... Oh, I just I just need to... Sur I just need to tell you... Nope. Hold on. I missed something. Feeling better. Um, I'll be leaving that. Oh, I was probably supposed to talk to so Toshichi. Uh, I'll go back and talk to Toshichi. Oops. Sorry about that, y'all. Having y'all watch me run back and forth. Let's gather up some rocks while we go. There we go. And now we got some stuff. I like the waypoint markers. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I just see fast travel location? Hold the phone. Oh, you're kidding me. Hmm. Okay. Let that be a lesson. I may not be building here ever again. Because if that's always a fast travel location, I don't need to do this. Alrighty, I built the house. That's impressive. Congratulations. Maybe, oh, cool. This is just the beginning. And, yep, I'll let go. Commit some. Might not be so easy. We've seen this before. I'll ask Akko. What should I know? Tell me about the warrior. And tell me about the priestess. Tell me about the impure. Okay. That's enough for now. Thanks, buddy. Okay. He did say something about a woodworking station. He did say something about the... Uh, the work the workstation as well so that makes me wonder I, I did not see it saying to us that we had them unlocked yet so oops yeah and I wondered that okay woodcutter's hut not done yet I wonder about um hmm. what about us building an ads will this do anything for us no no it will not Okay, well, let's go get our person. Let's get our first person, Akko, and get her into the village. Akko, are you? Are you here? Good news, it's reborn! Yay! Alrighty, now I'll have you join us in the Dynasty tab. We'll go to our population. Let's get Akko. She needs a home. You can live here. You can live in the workstation. No, we're not going to make her do that. That's a thousand. Now we have a general storage and some other things. We'll check on that. Jobs wise, let's see what she can do. She will make tools. Hmm. Not interested in that. Wooden Yari, I mean, ah. She can make an iron hammer? What? I mean, and a, you can make an iron pickaxe? Mm hmm. Okay, well, I tell you what, that is actually going to be a thing. Requires the tools and adds to build a bucket with planks and sticks. I see you there. I see you there. So now that's the only workstation that's available. Okay, yo, let's see what we got here. Those are the basics. We now have a lot of unlocked here. Okay. Storage buildings. We have our general store and a food store. Fantastic. Production buildings. We do have the workshop, but I need Dynasty Level 4. Hmm. And furniture, we have a lot of different things we can build for that. Production building furniture, tell me more, because if I can... Oh, darn it. Carpenter workstation. All right, uh, I need to meet this one, so I need to get the woodcutter's hut. So in order to do that, I need to do quests. That's kind of the... That's the pace setter, it seems. Pace setter is going to be all about just getting the quest done, so I think that we can do that pretty quick. If that's the way we do it, and also obviously we can get refugees, which I will most assuredly do. But first and foremost, I know that this is a quick quest. Let's get it done. You there. The Impure. He said you might need help. Um, 
what's his story? Let's hear more. And, um, is there really nothing we can do? I'll talk to her. All right, my friend. So we're going to go help out our friend here who has eaten some mushrooms when he was desperate for food and unfortunately is direly sick and may not make it unless we actually go to his aid. And we are going to go to his aid because we're here to help. Now you, are you considered... Are you considered a person that I can go? Did Eco Rebellion be successful? Who's in Jiro? And I I would recommend that y'all go through this and read this at your own pace when you're playing. For this, it's the story about in Jiro, a local hero who rose up against the uh, lords and fought back. Now the, they did. He's considered the bravest man in Japan. Yep. He inspired an Iki, a local rebellion. And if you'll remember from my other playthrough, my other playthrough, I did the Eco Yi uh, rebellion. And it looks like they, he was unfortunately hanged and the village was burned to the ground. So did his, did his rebellion succeed? No, of course not. But it did start a, pan, a bandit camp not too far away, which we will be dealing with constantly over here. As an interesting side thought, as a, hmm, how would we deal with this situation? And the fact of it is that they are the people who rose up against the local lords. So they are a start here. A man is dying, I want to help. He ate mushrooms. Yep, I do. Not a healer. Well, let's give a chance. Uh, nope, I want him to have a chance. Charcoal. I have charcoal for you. Here you are. I have the charcoal. Okay, and give the antidote to the sick man. Of course I will. The goal here is to save this village. Now, could we still say that this is our uh, playthrough of Rising from the Ashes? Rising, rising again, a re <laughs> Phoenix down two, or Phoenix two. We could always reboot. Then why not? We can always continue on that storyline. We never really did get to finish it. So, for those who are new here, if you haven't seen the previous playthrough, my previous playthrough had us starring as a person fleeing from Odu Nobunaga and his forces. So the idea here is that we are in the Sosogi period, but we are specifically a general from the Ikoiki Rebellion. If you've played Shogun 2, then you may have played as the Ikoiki as one of their factions. I loved that storyline and got enamored with it and dug into the history a bit on it and enjoyed reading and finding out more about this particular uprising. also read a little bit from a professor from a university who said that as much as the Ikoiki Rebellion was kind of left in the past and only remembered in small details, it was a very much pivotal thing and a huge thorn in the side of Odo Nobunaga, who is famous for, uh, well, um, essentially winning in the struggle of the Warring States period and uniting Japan to, well, under his banner, I should say, becoming Shogun. Now, my my generalization there is, is lacking in depth. There's much more going on. But it is interesting, and I wanted to take that storyline, that idea of like, well, we are fleeing. Let's say that we are fleeing from Odu Nobunaga and that they're trying to root out the last bits of the Iko Iki Rebellion and that this is us. We are one of the last ones to make it. How about Mada? And what you do, I don't know, but let's make this happen, sir. You are going to not necessarily feel better, but you can live. Sorry, friend. It's going to be tough, but you will make it. It's looking more alive. Yep, and thank you for that. Perfect. Now we have unlocked the woodcutter's hut and we have unlocked thatch. Wonderful. So these quests are well worth it. It's getting us re it's getting us buildings that we need. Alrighty. Perfect. Because the woodcutter's hut is the thing that I want. We simply just need we need all of the stuff. All of the things. We need all of the things. What we really need is we just need access to getting logs for free. That's what I want. Logs without me having to do the work. I think that's what I mean to say. It looks like the graphics have changed a little bit here. It is a little more pleasantly green. The palette has changed. So it's not a darker green. It's definitely a lighter green with these pine trees. I feel like that's a nice addition. It makes it feel a little more... Makes it feel a little more uh, welcoming and bright. That's cool. I like that. A lot of nice changes here. I think they've spent... They have really worked hard on this, honestly. It's really, it's really come, coming a long way. And I do very much appreciate that they're putting so much time into this and that they are re reworking it with our input. And I think that that says a lot about a development, com development company. So thank you, devs. Thank you, thank you. It is awesome to see the progress in this. 
And obviously it's not finished yet, but, you know, it's what it is. It's an early access game. Go figure. If you haven't already picked it up, I think it is fun to play. I think you will definitely get enjoyment out of it. And will you enjoy it immensely at first? Well, keep in mind, it has a little ways to go too. I think you will. And it may not be a long playthrough necessarily, depending upon how you choose to play. So be ready for that. And it's still something very fun. And honestly, what I've found in this game, as I play Medieval Dynasty as well, is that with this one, I like a lot of the creature comforts they've given us as builders. As you can tell, they immediately have the ability for you just to fast build things with one resource. That tells you that the focus is on just creating, right? And the story is obviously here too, which I'm looking forward to seeing how they fleshed out. But I do love the aspects of building. It very much is tailored around the idea of making it. Hmm, no. Let's do a simple wall with a window. It's time to have some air here. There we go. So many hammers. There we go. We'll do a couple windowed, windowed walls with some <laughs> really, really simple, simple stuff. And I do appreciate the building stages here now. So we have definitely, we are definitely seeing here that there are building stages. We are on the early advancement phase. So that is cool. And I do appreciate that because we should be, right? I mean, honestly, we should be on the early building stages. We just got here. Obviously, with our storyline, we can say that our character knows more, but maybe this is him being forced to learn more of the, less of the warrior side of things and more of the building side of things. So he gets to have a lesson and an appreciation in how one builds and does. Since he's been so busy on the war side of things, he probably hasn't thought much about the building at the peasantry level and the things that the people that he's serving have to do. Ooh, I would like this to have cost planks. I, I appreciate that it doesn't because I get it. You want to make sure it's simple resources, but I think that should have cost planks. It has planks right there. I think that's one of those things where it's okay to cost us planks on that one. It's okay that we don't have access to that right away. I mean, all we have to do is build an ads. I'm good with that. So that, that, may, that may be one piece of feedback in that one, I would say. Just, mm, I think we could have done that. Dynasty level four. Oh, Akko, don't be mad at me. Let's see here. What do we want to do? Are you the woodworking table? Nope, I don't want that. Let's change your job. I want you at the carpentry station. That's the one. Now, will it let me get paper logs wherever I like? Okay, it will. Ah, I see that we have the same problem we were going to have before. Mm -hmm. So that problem is no wood storage building and no general storage building. So that's going to be an initial kind of like, eh, darn it thing. So let's take care of that. That initial, ah, darn it thing is the whole, you must have your storages completed before you can actually have a worker be successful in any job. Now, do I appreciate that we're here in Sasogi first? Yes, because I don't have to travel very far, and I know all of the things I need are right here. And so I'm good with rebuilding Sasogi in this playthrough, partly because I still think it fits the storyline of our character. I also do think that it's a nice, efficient way to take care of the early game. Will this be a permanent village? No. It's all good. It doesn't have to be. Alrighty, I rather liked having my wood storage next to this region. Oh, my apologies. I'm still very much getting myself reacclimated on the controls. It'll be a nice humorous moment. Storage building, a general store, and I can't do a wood storage yet. Well, okay, then we'll focus on the food storage. And I like having the food storage right next to our bell tower. I do appreciate when they were doing the... Uh, when we were doing the early, um, the uh, beta, sorry, the scaling on these models, their brightness was really bonkers. It was really bon or it was really weird, and I love that they fixed that. So mm, lots of feedback taken and lots of improvements made by the devs. Really, just hats off. I love it. So making this uh, food storage is kind of just a placeholder and a finisher. I want it here. I want it done. We are going to need food for Akko and all of our villagers, so why not just start on the foundations here? Since it is dark out, and since unfortunately I don't really have a means to make this brighter for y'all, I'm just simply going to fast forward and I'll see you on the other side of that. Greetings and welcome back to the morning. So what I did was I added a bed in here, as you could just see. I finished that up, and I cleaned out the village. Ooh, I missed a tree. 
I cleaned out the village for the most part, and we are going to begin right away and go straight to questing and get everything as far in as we can. I'll also show you, ah, looks like we're going to do that later. Just realized that there are more than one tree there. We'll take care of that in a moment. Now, I added something. You'll see over here that there are two log stations. How I did that was I went into my hammer, grabbed my hammer, press the right click, go to furniture, going over to production building types, going over to woodcutter type. And then what I did is I added another carpentry station. Now the reason for adding that carpentry station is because I want two workers here. Logs are the thing I need. So as soon as I get another worker, I want them on it. I also tossed some resources in here. I'll show you where I got the bamboo from. The bamboo I get from just up over the hill. I'm gonna do that. We'll take hmm, some of these with, I do, oh, I love that you can stack these. Can I just tell you how excited I am that these are all stacked now? You can't stack in your own inventory, don't care. That's fine, I can live with that. But being able to stack here, I'm happy. I have finished the general storage and now I have four axes in here. Now that does beg the question of why don't I have more? And you might be thinking, hey, you have a workstation. Why aren't you, why aren't you just gonna go straight to using iron? I will, I am on that. What's gonna end up happening here is that I need to get myself to Iwasaki. But I want to do that, and I want to do it at a timing that makes sense. In other words, right now, the way things are working is that I have, I have, oh, it said it maxed them out, but oh, wait, that's right, we have another issue. We have no wood storage building, that's right. So that was the other key issue here. We can't build a wood storage building because we're on the cusp of it because of our dynasty rep. I have a fast way to take care of that. Let's go this away. Let's take care of this. And since work gets completed at 1800, that's late in the day. That means that I can do some little bits of leveling here, get some dynasty rep up so we can move on. Here's the bamboo I'm talking about. I chopped it down and I immediately got a recipe, right? So as soon as you get something, you tend to gain some recipes related to it. All right, there's a hair there. Oh, it's a special hair. That means it has higher level than usual. Alrighty, I heard you need assistance, and the people here have forgotten Inari, and they are not honoring their gods. So, we're going to help them out. We, as a person who understands the spiritual nature of our people, and the what we need for our, our people to be happy, and to make sure the gods are happy with us in our timeline here. Although we, if we are following our storyline, we would be more akin to the Ikoiki uh, version of Buddhism. And not as much into the Shinto version. Oh, I'm glad they fixed the water. Mm-hmm. The water looked really grossly too, like, Caribbean before. They did a great job of fixing that palette color there. Awesome. Nice work. That looks so good. Alrighty, then let's just make ourselves a quick campfire. Show you the basics on that one. It is going to take us sticks and stones, and they certainly won't break our bones, but it will help to roast an egg. So let's do this. To cook an egg... Oh, it does require just an egg. Hmm. Interesting. Sometimes, the uh, before you had to use a rock to do it. Now, we are not going to let the new bears get mad at us for leaving a fire open here. Right? We aren't going to have Smokey the Bear showing up here in, in historic Japan to say, Hey, only you can prevent forest fires. I see you leaving that campfire out there, boy. Uh-oh. We'll be running like mad from that guy. That's for sure. All right, well, anyway, onward here. We're going to go up to the shrine. Now, I happen to know that taking this route is going to get there pretty fast. And, oh, I see a question mark. That could be good or bad. It certainly could be a bandit. It could be anything. It could just be an area POI, but the exclamation point is on our POI, so it's not that. It could be a person who's a traveling salesperson. Traveling merchant is the better way to put it. And we want to get in here. Oh, and that's awesome. Very auspicious that there are foxes right here, right? And as I recall, we do get our animation whenever we open a shrine up for the first time. And this is awesome. Again, one of the things I love about the game. I love the art style. I love the fact that there are these small pieces that make it just so much more lively and enjoyable. And it's beautiful, right? So it's fun to have that. I love the imagery. So good. And now... We have a new way of the monk, which is fantastic. We also have, um, oh, hi. Oh, you're a refugee. This is so good. Tell us your story. 
Oh, yes, yeah, soldiers. Why don't you come and live with us? We'll make you a new home. Now we get to try something out. Let's find let's find something out together here. He, can you live in that home? Yes. Ah, look at that. He can sleep and he can stay with Akko. Putting down the extra bed made it possible. I love it. Now we have a cooking pot, the wood storage, and the fertilizer bucket. And we've unlocked the kitchen. That is just fine. Alrighty, you. What's going to happen here? Hmm, well, you're going to be a carpenter as well. Let's start you on the premium coin of hers. Although, honestly, I just need the logs, period. We're going to get you some stone axes going on, but that's not really the end-all, be-all of it. We'll come back for that. Since we need to turn in this quest now, efficiency-wise, I would highly recommend, if it were me, uh, recommending to you what to do next, is that you just go straight here and finish this quest before you head back. I think it's fast. Actually, why don't I model what I say, right? <laughs> do what you just do what you say and model what's going on. My apologies. Let's do this just the same way we did the first one. The reason I was going to hesitate was I was going to say, I just want to get my buildings up. That is my priority number one. I want that wood storage. I want workers producing things. That's where I'm at. Looks like we have something we can see up here. I am hoping that it's a person. It could be a watchtower, which means it could be a special project. That's possible. Could be any number of things. Sacred place of power. Okay, well, we'll just jump and fly for a while here. Whee! Alrighty, I wonder if they updated these. I know there wasn't much going on with these earlier on. Nice. Cool. That's oh, yeah, a very beautiful view. That's just no question on that one, right? Beautiful view. All right, now we have to head down this away. I sure hope that I kept my... I did. I did keep some logs in my inventory. I will need some Yari. Otherwise, we will be in grave danger here as we go down here and they say, you need more Yari. Or you need a Yari to help this person out with their quest. All right, and then the next thing is we need to hunt ourselves a bunny. Hmm. They got faster. Gotta love that. All right, let's go over here. This quest is fairly straightforward. You end up having to hunt and kill some animals for a young man who's trying to find his way and ends up in the wayward hands of the local protector. We'll assume that he's a local warrior and he's got, in theory, a great head on his shoulders. But you end up finding out more about him. You need help? You don't need help from anybody? Of course you don't. And I'm rushing through this because I've already seen this, and y'all might have already seen it too. But essentially what he's saying is he has this young man who doesn't know anything about hunting. He's trying to teach him a lesson, and he's just useless, and he can't do anything right. And I don't need your help. He's a very grumpy man. This young man, on the other hand, is a little different. Hey, I already gave you a task. You look distraught. When your father he said that he wouldn't, that killing animals was wrong. So now... He has been told by his father that killing animals is wrong. Now, for us, as a person who's experienced conflict, if we go with our storyline... Gotcha! As a person who's experienced conflict, I believe that this person would look to this young man and say, Number one, if your father taught you these things, it's important to honor the memory of your father. But number two, chances are this young man is not is not going to experience very good comfort when combat happens. And he's probably going to be one of those people where, in the heat of battle, he'll be too busy trying to figure out his own safety and panicking, and it will be nothing more than a danger to himself and those around him. If he's not prepared for this, and maybe it's not his way, and that his way could perhaps be the way of the monk, something different, something maybe not related to the way of the soldier. There are other people in this valley that can do this, and there's a monastery not far away. Young man, you should take the life of a monk. Oh, cooked. Of course you need it cooked. Why wouldn't you need it cooked? Sure, we can do that. We have campfire work and we have campfire work and materials. Let's do it. Alrighty. We'll finish this up. We're supposed to cook the meat. It doesn't require us to have a stick anymore, which is handy, I suppose, but it's what it is. It is going to be worth having that 15% bonus on uh, crafting meat, of course, now, or crafting things now, because the time is actually a longer, little longer as well. Alrighty, never leave a campfire out to find traces of me. Uh, okay, here, I have the cooked meat. Wait a moment, you haven't eaten today? He says, what? He's using you, eat the meat, you need your strength. Yes, and again, 
I would not, as this person, I could not support this. A person using someone else just to get food, starving this poor child to death to teach him a lesson. I understand discipline, and this person would have seen discipline in action. But discipline does not mean making suffering out of a person. It means teaching discipline, guiding them. And this young man has not the way of a warrior. He has the way of the monk. All right, complete the hunt. I told him to eat. His problems are not mine. Yeah, great. Uh-huh. Well, you go ahead and you be angry at me. I'm not interested. I am uninterested in your ways, friend. All righty. We'll go over here. And what we're going to do while we're here is just get some clay going. And part of that is just to get ourselves some unlocks, right? As soon as you start getting a resource, as soon as you get that resource for the first time, congratulations, you now have a new recipe unlocked. So my recommendation is if you see it, get it, right? If you see a resource, get it. Just go for it. And for me as well, since we are here and since we have a village to think about when we get back, it's really worthwhile to get some of these things up and running at the start. It's going to be important to have clay as soon as we move on to our advancements in technology. For iron, for smithing, over time. Back to the village we go. And the environments, again, so nice, it is very well crafted. We've completed two of the quest lines that we needed to, and our dynasty level has increased because of it. We're going to go back. I need to be back before afternoon. Morning still, we are in a good spot. The reason we have to get back before morning is because our workers will produce by 1800, which is 6 o'clock. That's in the afternoon, so we are going to need to be back in time for that. Let's see here, an iron knife, fishing nets, it is all abandoned. We would not want to leave this unused and to waste. And after all the years of trying to survive and perhaps working in more covert ways, we would have known the value of if something's around that can be used, you take it. Back we go. The special project will be worth doing a little later. I have not started that one yet. So we've come back here. We will bring our blessing back to the shrine. Oh, was I supposed to do more? Or is that telling me about that one? Let's check our quests. Open the gates. Is that Road to Renewal? Helps Asogi. Side quest. Tranquil Tribe. Use the cooked egg to make an offering to Anari. I'm pretty sure I did that already. Hmm. Apparently when I opened up that shrine, I didn't actually place the egg in it. So what I'm going to do, since we already have the unlock, we're going to go just build the building and we'll finish that up later. I'm not too worried about it since we've got what we needed, which is that I need to build my wood storage. So let's do that and not worry about the other part. I'll go back and finish that one up later. And since I rushed through it, I'll do it off camera so it's just completed. And it's something that y'all will have done in your playthrough. So just don't rush through that part. I do like getting these things out of the way. We want to make sure we have these trees down. And I'll show you one more area over here. There's a space here where some straw is. And it's where all of my fields end up going in Sasogi as I build it. You can actually click your... You can click to swing a little faster, I discovered. But you got to get some timing on it. Over here, there should be some straw bales. Oh, it looks like there was only one, and I've already taken it down. There we go. Oh, they're very small straw piles. Interesting. They used to be full-size straw things. When you pick them up, you gain access to thatch. So I do recommend you do pick those up as soon as you're able. Oh, the chunkiness. There's still a little bit of chunkiness in the graphics here and there. It's nice to get rid of some of these things and clear out the area. If this area is going to be refreshed and renewed... We do need to get rid of the old things. We cannot get rid of the gallows because it's a historic thing. Now, I do need one more axe, but it's not going to be the biggest deal in the world. Alright. Again, we need to have some things finished. Some storages. The wood storage, to be exact. Hmm. I usually like having my wood storage to be right behind this one. And I think what we'll do is we'll put it side by side here. It's going to look a little silly. Hmm, another blo object is blocking its placement. We won't stress about the appearances too much here, I don't think. Instead, what we'll do is we'll get these things down so we can get production going. Alrighty, we will need as many of these logs as possible. And... Take them all. There we go. 
think we will be still a little shy. So I'll get a couple more logs into this one. We'll finish this up. And also keep in mind that our floor is also going to be logs. I do like keeping some of these trees around for decoration. So don't want to take them all down. All right. Oops. Oh dear. Sorry. That's there still seems to be a little bit of load issue here. I know that they have worked on it, and I'm sure. I am absolutely confident that they are doing their best on it, but it's still a little chuggy at times. I find that chopping these with the axe first to get sticks out of it is a big deal. Since the sticks are far more useful than the bark at the start of the game. I mean, after all, you saw how many times I had to build with sticks in our makeshift buildings. And you can kind of chop these logs as they fall, which is really fun. And I have to clear out a lot of bushes a lot of times just to pick up my logs, which is really entertaining. All right, let's finish up that wood storage because we need our workers to be able to actually complete their jobs. And then it's going to be time to get things finished. And I will go drop off that egg at the shrine to Inari, obviously. Planks. Perfect. Finally. Because we have a lot of planks from all of our work. Look at that, 69 planks. Oh my, we have lots of planks. I'm probably going to need the bamboo too, so I'll be heading back there shortly and getting that all set up. Sticks? Oh, I'm in the way. Okay, so they turned it into sticks, which is convenient because it makes sense. Although, honestly, I really wish you could change it to whatever material you chose. I'll change the type. I do want there to be some actual walkways in. I think it looks better, and I don't mind painting sticks because I have sticks. We're still going to do that here, too. Yeah, we'll do it here, too. And a hammer down. Hammer back. This one we'll leave as simplicity, just to save us some resources. And we'll get the rest of this going. I think this would be nice as a little stepway. And we'll go from there. All right, and here and here, and then we're on to the center structure, which is nice that they changed it to sticks and planks just because of the resource timing. Although honestly, you have bamboo everywhere, so I really think the appearance should match the resource required. So in my opinion, I think they could have actually gotten away with just sticking with the way it was. There we are, and that's it. We are now done with the basics. Go to the carpentry station, let's manage that job. Uh, I see that we are making logs. We have to fix it because there was no storage before, so it was saying that it couldn't do it. And we're also seeing that. There we go. It's going to be a little low on knee on the abilities here. The premium conifers are six logs. I'll do the same here. I'm gonna need another axe, that's okay, because I have plenty of stone to build axes. And that's it. The next step is going to be me completing that Inari quest line, since I want to be sure that we have... I want to be sure that we get those completed. Now, I'll see you on the other side of a fast forward, because I'm going to go turn that in and get to that person. There we are. This is us dropping off the egg. You just have to click on it and interact. I did have to wiggle a bit to see where I put the actual marker so I could drop it off properly. Alrighty, then we're going to go back to town. We're going to finish this off. There are some beautiful areas back here. I figured I would just travel along with you for a bit and see some of these pretty scenes because it is nice, isn't it? It's fun to have a very pretty looking game, a gorgeous looking game that is vibrant and definitely feels alive. And I do love the blossoms, the, the trees that are looking gorgeous with their pink flowers. So definitely nice, a good good game to be able to play to just chill and I do love the option of having a chill setting that's cool that is the way to be okay and the offering has been made and the people will see that it's good to respect the gods again and honor Anari with that we've helped out Toshichi we've gained a number of experience points we're doing really well as far as experience is concerned oh my <laughs> sorry about that a little more chugging chugalicious chugalicious Okay, you. Toshichi, it's great to help you out. Been helping neighbors. Help the Miko, cook the egg, and yes. Did you mention anything? Yeah. An old business guy is not suffering. But, or he is suffering, but he's gonna. Okay, we gotta tell your sister about our plans. Look at that. 
Two workers on the woodworking station. Perfect. Next is going to be food. All right, that's something I can help you with. That's awesome. Let's build a bridge, and that's it. Your life changed at the bridge. Let's talk more. And you, I'm working on your house. It'll be done soon. <laughs> okay, so I need to... Um, wait, it does say that I can just ask her to join. Oh, I'll have you working at... I'll sleep... Uh, you'll be sleeping in a workstation, apparently. Okay, well, that's a thing. What can I have her build? Can I have her work on building things? I think that's okay. We'll have her build some buckets. Not a bad idea. The rest of this stuff we don't really have. Fertilizer we don't have. And it looks like a lot of the rest of this we don't need to do. So we'll build some of these, and I'll have you make axes. Why not? Ten of them? Oh, I don't think so. <laughs> I just don't think so. Uh, grasses we don't have. Hmm. Let's have you making the buckets. And then it says we need adds for that, and I do have all the stones. All right, for the fast pan, y'all. All right, that being the case, let's make... Uh, oop, that's the wrong one. But oh well. One, two, and three, and four. Okay. Now, I'm at Dynasty level seven, which means that I can ask the abbot for permission to settle in a new village, and that's probably where we're going to be heading off into our future here. And that's going to definitely be the spot I want to grow into at. All right, that's awesome. Now, this is funny because it looks like it's highlighted. It's just the coloration difference. All righty, and now we go to our people. Let's manage that job, and let's give you an ads to do this. I think doing some farming is actually the thing we're going to want. There we go. Let's max that out. Oh, good. These are automatically set. So she will be making 20 of those, and that's great. That's what we want. Y'all, this is a quick foundational start here, and this is about as much as I can get done recorded today, but I will be back, and I will have more, and we will look deeper into these. And, as, and whenever I get time, and as soon as possible, I'll make sure I work on that video for recommendations for places to start and recommendations for dynasty leveling. Take care, and I hope you have a wonderful day.